All right, so for this one, I'm going to be completing my uh, project for the uh, dust collection. So this I don't know much about. I'm following uh, what other people are saying, but um, I'm going to, apparently these PVC pipes um, create a lot of static and it gets dangerous. It'll get stopped up, blah, 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 whatever. So <clears throat> what they do is ground it to... I can find my stuff here. Ground it to something. My first thought was to ground it to, uh, um, uh, you know, just an outlet ground. But I've popped this box off anyway. So I'm going to use this braided copper wire, um, which, by the way, is expensive. They didn't have any other uh, size. This is 500 feet. I mean, I doubt I'll even use... 100 feet but anyhow i think i'm just going to come <clears throat> straight off the neutral bar in the box here and out one of these uh, up and over and uh, start braiding it around the uh, um, all around the pipe and so and i'll show you this uh, as i get done i'm going to put i'm going to drill into the pvc <clears throat> failing here and I don't know where the screws are all right prepared I am not so anyhow there's some screws somewhere uh, itty bitty screws that I'm gonna screw into the PVC and they'll be screwed in with uh, these guys that's how I'll wrap it around but um, I'll see I'm gonna do a test fit on an, on a piece of pipe and just see how that works so I'll do that now Okay, so I seem to get really lucky here, which usually doesn't happen. So this is kind of what I was saying. There is a hole, small hole, real small hole that I drilled there. Um, you can see it. And the screws, let me get the screws are from uh, the orange store. This uh, number eight, half inch. And from reading and listening to what everybody else was saying, you want the screw to stick out just a small, one of the guys even said a 32nd of an inch. This is a little bit more than that. <clears throat> but that'll, you know, that, apparently that's enough. Again, I don't know too much about this, but then I have these two connectors here, and this is where the, the wire will go in. And I'm going to wrap it around the PVC. I'm also going to... Um, go around the slinky here because it's going to be stationary I don't know if it's needed but I've got the wire to do it so uh, I'll start there um, I guess I'll just drop it down I don't know where I'm going to drop it down I guess I could drop it down on top of that and wind it down I don't know a lot of people were just uh grounding it to um, the impeller housing but I figure I've got the box here because I mean you're going from the impeller housing straight back here anyway I mean it would just make sense to do it here so that's what I'll do uh, so I'm not going to really film that but as I go I'll do progress checks and uh, see if we can make this happen okay before I put the cover back on the box because it's a little dangerous and just being open so braided wire I took it in through here just loosen this up took it in and it's on the pole right here just with the rest of them so this should give me a ground back to uh, well this particular one because the sub panel you're not supposed to ground it to itself or by itself you're supposed to ground it <coughs> or let it go back to um, the main panel so anyhow it's as good as it's going to get uh, down here so uh, I just wanted to show that before uh, before I get started I'll just wrap this um, down and we'll see uh, we'll see what we can do so much wire so should be fun all right till then till next time all right so we're all done here um, I started with the copper wire um, in, in the wrong place. 
I ran it out of the box. I think I already showed that. But ran it all the way up. And brought it back down the bag holder. Wrapped it around this slinky pipe. And then tapped into the PVC on this blast gate, or right before it. Wrapped around this slinky pipe and kept on doing uh, tapping in at each point here on the PVC. Uh, <clears throat> came over here, same thing, wrapped around, and then finished up right here. I didn't think there was a need on this because I don't know that it's always going to be like that. So I started thinking, how am I going to test this? Um, you know, to make sure that it's getting all the way back. Uh, and this sub panel, um, whenever you put a sub panel in, I'm told you don't ground or um, you don't tie the neutral uh, neutral bar with the ground bar, which I didn't because it gives it. If you do, it gives it too many. It gives it two places to go because this is going back to um, the feed in the main panel. So anyhow not get into too much electric talk. I thought, well, I've got a run from here back to the sub panel, and then of course I've got hot, so why can't I just use this? Why can't I plug the voltmeter into the hot and then try to ground out to um, the wire that I've done to see if I've got a uh, connection there. So, that's what I'm doing. I've got um, <clears throat> my 1950s voltmeter. Um, I plugged, let me see if I can do this, plug the hot end to the cable, which you can't see right now, but let me get it in. Okay, plug one lead into this cable, or into the extension cord, and I'm taking the other lead and touching the, oh, yeah, right there lead there and as you can see I've got 120 110 whatever so I know that we're good we've got continuity for sure all the way back to the box <clears throat> um, and even all the way back up to the uh, to the main panel so uh, I can't do any better than that um, so I'm gonna consider this one done and uh, We'll move on to the next one, which I think is going to be cleaning this place up. Dang, what a mess. Yeah, so, all right, until next time.